ask you this. Well, well make this statement. Say, because I felt like this, and for some of the viewers, he's my pastor, you know, and it's, by not, it's not by accident. But, but they say, well, I, man, I can't go to church. I, I used to kill people. Oh, I can't go to church. I used to be a drug dealer. I gotta wait. Wait till I get right. Then I'm gonna go. I mean, what? What? As 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 a, as a as a minister, a pastor, what would be your 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 response to someone with that frame of mind? Wow, that's that's another awesome question. The um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Grace and Faith Family Fellowship. Um, as we continue to grow and as we continue to connect with with other churches, we you know let me just throw this in there that we're actually connecting with. Um, some other churches here locally and even some that are out of town because we're looking at starting our own association and we're, we're considering the name um, um, Kingdom Community Builders International because the, our, 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 our ministry is about the community. Oh. It's about the people. See, that's what, that's what the cross is about. Jesus came, suffered and died to bring man back into relationship with God and if anything that God values is if he values his relationship with mankind God desires a relationship with man again so Jesus as a result that relationship that fellowship was broken in the garden and as a result Jesus came and died and that created the opportunity for us to now to go uh, back into fellowship with God and so we can pray directly to God we can have a relationship with him one-on-one. -on -one. We can literally know him personally. So ultimately, that's where we want to get everybody, be it adults or kids. We're looking at this association of churches so we can collaborate together because there's more people. We bring in our resources together to get things done in the community. But ultimately, we want to change the community. When we're dealing with the challenge of reaching the you. We are we are a church that's that 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 you, you you've heard of you know they're Baptist churches and 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 I don't we, you know I, I grew up in, tr in traditional Baptist churches okay? okay and and I in no means mean to throw rocks at them because God has pulled me out of that okay um, um, God is doing something differently with me in this season as it relates to bringing people into the kingdom. What we're doing is building God's kingdom because we're bringing people that are lost, lost souls, into the body of Christ. Okay? Now, and we do that from a spiritual standpoint by teaching them that Jesus died for your sins and you confess uh, Christ uh, with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, as the scripture said. Right. But we also do it from a practical standpoint by showing them in the scripture in Romans 5, 17, that, that, that God says the church is destined to reign. Literally destined, that's, that's, that's the church destiny, that we're destined to reign. Well, if that's the case, then why, why is there so much um, turmoil in the church? If that's, if that's the word of God. Why is there so much um, backbiting in the church? Why are there so, much, um, so many unmet needs in the body of Christ? Mm. If we're destined to reign, if that's God's word for us, Jesus said that I come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. Then why in the church, in the body of Christ, when you look at the, the, uh, the, the, the average church, why are there so many needs that's not getting met? Why are there so many elderly people suffering that attend church on Sunday mornings? Mm. What are we doing about that other than just having Sunday services? So you mean I don't have to wait to get to heaven to have the nice stuff? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Do you have to wait to heaven to get the blessings that God has promised us to have? Yeah. Now, see, 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 and when we get into the Word of God, the Word, the Bible, is filled with tremendous promises from God. And God don't bite His tongue about His Word. You know, I, I said the other day at, 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 at worship service that God spoke, when God spoke the world into existence, and when God saw darkness, he said, let there be light. He didn't look at the darkness and say, ooh, wee, there's a, ooh, it's dark. He, he didn't look at the darkness and get, get all stirred up because what he did, he spoke light into a situation. And that's what he has for us. The Bible says that we are the light of the world. So do we have to wait for the abundance? Well, the Bible says it's according to your faith.
What moved God is faith. God is not respecter of persons, he's respecter of faith. Right. If you're gonna get God's attention, it's because you are because of your willingness and your ability your ability to trust and believe what his word says for you. On that note, stay tuned viewers. We're gonna come back so you can hear more about hip hop and fashion and how the word is implemented in the community. Thanks for watching.